So Caffeine TV is very much like a more refined version of the application Twitch. It's a place where people can come together and share a broadcast and have conversations around a shared experience. So it could be watching an individual play and narrate video game play while others are in the same room virtually, commenting, watching the play, and applauding it. So, so the basic premise of Caffeine TV is to create a shared or communal experience around television. From a product standpoint, one of the core things about Caffeine is the interaction between uh, the, the chat and the person that is uh, commentating over the content is all in real time. Imagine if, if it took up to 60 seconds for you to react to what, what I just did. Like we'd lose a lot of the entertainment. I'd, I'd lose a lot of how I'm interacting with you. That's where that real entertainment comes from. Ben is a, is a serial entrepreneur. This is actually his third startup. He came to Caffeine after spending five years with Apple, where he worked on Apple TV. And that experience of working on Apple TV really sort of informed his view about what the next generation of television might be like. The initial applications are in eSports arena, so many of the, the first users of this technology are people like The Game, who's a rapper, or Offset, who go onto this platform and they play a game, so therefore they're accessible to all their, all their fans. And the fans have an opportunity to interact with them in real time and get to share space with them. But long term, the inventor of Caffeine hopes that this, this very easy to use platform will be able to be used in other shared experiences like music or other forms of entertainment. Broadcast sports are predominantly broadcast on linear television, which less and less people are watching. The various folks that buy the rights to that, the various folks that sell the rights to different sports content are looking for new ways to distribute the content, uh, new ways for people to consume the content, new ways for people to pay for the content. Caffeine is entering a really crowded marketplace. Not only does it have an established competitor like Twitch, which has roughly 75% of all the live streaming marketplace, but they're also really well established competitors like YouTube, which has a service, Microsoft has its own service, and, uh, and all enable this, a, a similar sort of live streaming experience. Caffeine has been in beta, so it's been a test form for a while. Uh, it emerged from that in November and it has roughly a million users. But it is fairly well capitalized for a startup. It raised $100 million from uh, 21st Century Fox back in 2018, prior to Fox's acquisition by Disney. And it has uh, well-regarded uh, members of its board of directors. For example, Lachlan Murdoch, who is a, a descendant of media mogul Rupert Murdoch and who runs Fox, is on its board of directors, um, as is Ben Horowitz. So he has some pretty, pretty well-regarded uh, uh, investors and board members. I think one um, interesting factor is the investment by Fox. Um, Fox has a very large television audience, obviously, but it's looking at ways to reach audiences that aren't necessarily tuned into its, its very popular sports broadcasts. So I think that this platform is, is interesting because it's a, a lens into uh, a fast-growing phenomenon where there's, where there's a lot of money being invested. And there's also the further accelerant of advertisers which are looking to reach an audience that's not found on traditional platforms. So, so there's money flowing in, something is likely to happen.